Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. So I just wanted to get on here and do a quick haul. Um, I do have a this dress I'm going to wear for my birthday. My birthday is Saturday, March 7th. I was supposed to go to church today, but I woke up with a really horrible migraine. I've been going to the chiropractor and getting adjustments, and I've been doing better. Some days I have like a ton of energy. I'm ready to run the streets, and other days I'm just like, ugh. So this morning, I just sat there and drank my coffee. I took an Excedrin migraine, and now the headache is subsiding, and uh, starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, I am taking some advice from a lovely lady named Kimberly. She went into Candy's community, and she said, try to slow down when you talk, and I'm trying to work on that. And right now, I've just had a cup of coffee and Excedrin migraine, which contains caffeine. So I am gonna try to slow down. I think the reason I talk fast is, number one, I just try to get it done. I don't wanna bore people. Um, a lot of times when I watch YouTubers, they, they go on and on about the same outfit. I'm like, okay, what else did you get? Like, I'm ready to see the next outfit. So I will try to take your advice, Kimberly. I will try to slow down, but I have had a cup of coffee and excited migraines. So I'm like caffeined up right now and I am going to try to slow down. I'm going to try to slow down. And so I can, cause she, she said, it's kind of hard to understand what you're saying. So I'm going to try to do better with that. Um, so here I am. I do have some music in the background. Hopefully it doesn't hit me. So anyway, this is the dress that I picked out to wear on my birthday. It's a sunflower dress. Um, at first try on, I really thought it was a little too busy. I'm not big on really big floral, floral, floral stuff. But my husband's opinion means a lot to me and he really liked it because it has the cinch and waist. Now I don't have shapewear on, so when I put the shapewear on, that will help. I am wearing pantyhose. I put some pantyhose. I don't know why I decided to throw these pantyhose on. Not, not let y'all can see it. But I decided to throw the pantyhose on because that's how I wear it. But um, he really liked it. <clears throat> he thought it was cute. And so I didn't pick it up on the first try. But then I went back and they were doing another buy one, get one half off. And they were. I had another $75 in toward cash. So I got this. And I was like, I'm going to wear it on my birthday. So I don't think it needs a lot of jewelry because it's already so busy. Um... But I did get these yellow earrings from JCPenney. I'm going to show you guys a couple things I got from JCPenney. Um, the only thing that's kind of a bummer is I thought these would be a little bit bigger. In the picture, they looked a lot bigger. Um, so I'm a little bummed out, but that's okay. I really don't think any necklaces or anything like that. I don't think this dress needs any more than, it, than it's already got going on. It's already very busy. Um, see the sunflowers, black background, sunflowers. And I do... Normally yellow is not my color. I think what I like about it is it really almost matches my hair. And I think that's why I like it. So I kind of kept it on and I was kind of like, I'm not sure. But when my husband said he liked it, I was like, okay. He says he likes it. I think it's a good spring dress. <clears throat> so tell me what you guys think. Um, I normally don't wear things this busy. So hopefully nobody will be like, wow, you're like really sunshine. Like I, one thing about me is people can say things that will really hurt my feelings and, and it'll crush me and make me not want to wear it again. Let me shut that door because it's really loud. When I'm home alone, I don't like it to be quiet. So I put music on to entertain me, you know, so I don't feel all alone. So Anyway, this is the first dress. I'm planning to wear it Friday. My birthday is Saturday, but I have to work Friday all day. And then I have a week off. I'm very excited. I'm taking spring break off with my daughter. So I'm really excited about that. And she just got into UF. Go Gators. So we're real excited about that. Um, I'm sad, too, because she's my baby girl. She's leaving me. So I painted my nails. I know this isn't the best job, but I did the orange and blue. I said, I guess I'm a Gator mom now. So anyway, this is... See, I just rambled. That's my problem. I need to stay focused. So this is the first dress from Torrid. It's a sunflower dress. Now I could have gotten away with a one on this. The only reason why I didn't is because it was too short. I really needed to go a little bit past the knee because if you wash it once or twice, it's going to shrink a little bit. Even if you don't put it in the dryer, I've learned it's, it's still going to shrink a little bit. So this is the dress I'm going to wear. Birthday dress. Sunshine, sunshine, I'm gonna be very, very much sunshine. Stop traffic kind of sunshine. The next couple outfits I'm gonna show you, it's really funny, my coworker, I have been losing weight and um, I've been doing good with my exercises now. When these migraines hit me, I don't wanna do nothing. So it's been kind of like on and off for the last couple weeks, but I have gone down a, a pant size and I keep wearing these pants and I notice they're kind of loose. I go to the bathroom and I'm like, man, these pants are getting loose. And I'm like, 
but I want to make sure I'm completely down with pant size before I go spend money. And she took a picture of me walking. She goes, Angela, those are not flattering on your behind. And she's so funny. Like, we always tell each other how we feel about outfits. She'll tell me, like, that doesn't look good or that does look good. And so I went out and asked my other coworkers because I want people to tell me. I'm like, y'all, be real. And I, and I did this whole walk. I said, I know they're a little big. And they were like, yeah, they're, that is not flattering. So I was like, eh, I'm making pasta salad. My grandma's famous pasta salad. Let me turn this off. I just try to do too many things at once. We'll get back to that. Maybe I'll show you guys how it turns out. My grandma, I'm, I'm Italian. And my grandma, bless her soul, she's in heaven, made the best pasta salad. And I tried to remember everything she put in it, vegetables. I'm going to put eggs in it, ham chunks, little uh, cheese chunks, uh, what do you call them, mozzarella balls. Um, try to make it like with a lot of protein so I can take it to work for the week. Um, so that's my plan today. So I try to be productive. Usually when I start a video, I either start longer or start cooking. So here I am. I also got to boil some eggs. So maybe I'll do that first. So anyway, this is the first dress. I'm going to go show you two more things. Be right back. Time to build up that spring collection. So I do have a credit card with JCPenney, um, which is great, but I'm trying not to use it because I've got to pay off that car. My daughter's going to college. There's a lot of things coming up, so I'm always trying to throw more towards my car, more towards my credit card, not use my credit card, that kind of thing. So my reasoning was I got to get some new pants. I got to go down the size of my pants. So I got the Worthington straight. I don't know if you can see these. Um, but they're Worthington straight leg pants. The thing about my, my problem with my pants are, I'm, you know, I've got the waist. Um, these are 16, I was wearing an 18 and they were way too big. So the great thing is they're just pull on. So I like that about it. Um, they have belt hoops. I'll probably never use them. Forgive my pantyhose there. Um, but they fit perfect. The only thing that I'm worried about is they, look, they feel a little bit on the short side. And that's the only thing that happens when you, again, just like dresses shrink, sometimes your pants shrink too in the dryer. So I do like them. They fit great. I love them. They are very wrinkled right now because they just came out of the basket. But I was like, I'm not going to iron these just for a, vi a video that I'm showing people. So I bought this shirt to go with it. I love Liz Claiborne. I love this shirt. Um, it has like a little gold clasp here. And the thing that I like about it is... I like florals, but this is different. Usually I'm pink and purple florals, but this is more like blue and white, which I like. I think it's different. Um, I'll probably wear a cami underneath it just to give it a little more structure. Um, I like the top of it, but I put this on and I was like, ooh, I love it, I love it. Now my office is always breezy, so I do take two sweaters to work. One is kind of attractive. I got this from JCP too. This is also a list play form. It's an open cardigan. I don't know why, I'm not a big fan of open cardigan because I feel like they make me look kind of sloppy, but I think this one's okay. The other one, um, it is. It's just very grandma looking, but it is meant to keep me warm. It's wool, and you can tell it's wool. It like looks like, I'll show it to you. It's not the most attractive, but it keeps me the warmest. So if I'm freezing at my desk, this is the one. And it's probably because I didn't wash it right. I think I got it at Kohl's. Um, I probably didn't follow the care instructions. So it's got like a bunch of little things coming out of it. So it's not the most attractive. My coworker gets cold too. And so it's funny, I always bring two sweaters and I'm like, which one do you want? There's been a problem with our um, air conditioner at work where they can't, like it can't regulate the temperature. So like if it's really hot outside, it's really cold inside. If it's really cold inside, sometimes we can't get the heat and the air don't act right. The break room has been freezing. My office is always freezing. So I always have to have a sweater. Like even in the summer, we're in Florida. Even in the summer, I have to have something for my office just to be prepared. So I'll be like, which one do you want? And she's like, I don't care. I just want to be warm. So she usually picks this one. So because I share, I always take it home once a week and wash it. Um, and I had like three or four sweaters there and a jacket. And I was like, I need to get this together. So. Because we're still in the spring, we're still getting a little bit of breezy weather. I like having this option. Um, I can't wear sleeveless to work, so 
I like that I can be like, okay, it's hot and I'll do this all day. Like I'll be like, oh, I'm hot and I'll take it off. Or I'll be like, oh, I'm cold and I'll put it back on. I'm on and off all day. Like my, my temperature just never regulates. And one thing about me, um, I don't know if this goes along with the migraines or migraine sufferers. I don't know if you guys have the same problem. You know, most people, you know, the regular temperature is 98.6. Mine tends to run like 97.1, 97.3. And when it starts dropping down, I can tell. I just start feeling kind of not good. And I'll check my temperature. And they laugh at me at work. And they're like, you're not sick. Stop. But I'm like, I'm not, I'm not checking it to see if I have a temperature. I'm checking it to see if my temperature is normal. And if it's not, I usually have to put a sweater on and drink some coffee. And that will take it up. I have no idea. I'm 40 years old, about to be 41. I don't know if it's a hormone thing. I don't know. It's something that seems to have just happened to me recently where I'll just be feeling not, not quite good. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? And so I'll check my temperature. I was like, well, shoot, one day it was 96 and I was feeling really bad. 97, I seem okay. 96, I start feeling just goosebumps all over me. Like I need to, I need to warm up. It's kind of weird. And I was reading that 95 is like hypothermia. I'm like, ooh, that's scary. I thought it would be a lot worse than that, but... So I have to watch that my temperature actually falls too low, which can also make you feel like crap because your body has to have a certain temperature for all your organs and everything to work the way they're supposed to. So <clears throat> this is, I'm going to show you this with another one. Now the second shirt, I'm not too sure about. I showed my friend already at work, the one that told me my pants were too big. So she'll tell me the real deal. You need people in your life that are going to tell you the real deal. You need, to, and you need to be able to accept the criticism. Like you need. You need feedback, but you also need to know, hey, I like this, I'm gonna wear it. Something happened one day, I wore something. Oh, it was a dress, my husband didn't like it. It was um, a navy blue dress with a beautiful floral jacket. It had like the bell sleeves and my husband hated it and my daughter hated it. And I said, I don't care. I said, I'm wearing it to work. I said, it's easy. It's literally like, it, you don't have to iron it or anything. It's like a dress, it went to here and it has the bell sleeves, and I knew why he didn't like, he hates the bell sleeves. He just, for some reason, he just doesn't like the bell sleeves. And I said, oh wow, I'm wearing it to work. I know you're not gonna divorce me over it. And it's so funny, my husband always tries to get my daughter's um, opinion, and if they both tell me something's bad, I usually take their advice. But that day I was like, I don't care what either one of them think. And so he goes, Brianna, what do you think of her outfit? And he, she goes, ugh. And I'm like, ah, y'all are so mean. So they're my biggest critics. But anyway, let me show you this next shirt. Um, it's more springy, but I don't know. The first thing I thought is I, I pictured like somebody mooing at me, like, Moo, even though nobody does that. Really, people don't do that, but they do it behind your back. That's the problem. So let me show you this one. Tell me what you think. This is the one I want. Um, my coworker said, I like it. She said, you look good in um, bright colors. Now my problem is I always buy things too big and I had to learn the hard way. I was buying everything at a two X top and it was, that is not right. These are, this is one X. One X is 16, 18, two X is like 20, 22. I finally figured that out. Since I was a two at Torrid, I just assumed I was two everywhere else. That is incorrect. So I'm a one. And I mean, looking at this, I could probably gotten away with a zero X. I don't know if they had a zero X. But um, it's flowy, it's big. Um, I like the color, I like the light blue. I'll definitely wear a tank top underneath it because it's kind of sheer. Um, I'm very self-conscious of my arms, I'm working on that. Um, but I think this one, I definitely would want to wear the cardigan to tone it down a bit. Um, I think this one, I like it, but I think I would like it better with the black over just because it's so busy. And it's just, well, so is that. This, this one's not, there's nothing compared to that sunshine dress. So maybe this and some black cardigan uh, or some black tassel earrings or something like that. But um, I like this one too. It's just a little more out of my comfort zone, but I think it's good for spring. I'm basically trying to get my spring collection together. And because I was born in spring, spring is one of my favorite um, seasons to shop for because I live in Florida and spring and summer are pretty much what we deal with all year and a couple days of cold. It was actually like 37 yesterday. So, but then it was like 60. It was like, I remember in the morning I went to work and I had my moto jacket, my leather moto jacket from Torrid. And by two o'clock, I had the heat on in my car. When I got back in my car, it was like 12. We only worked like three hours on Saturday. I turned on my car, it was like 60 degrees and I was hot and I was like, oh my God, this jacket needs to come off. So it's like, you, you literally ha have to dress in layers and you're, you're done. By the end of the day, you're done. This will probably, I'll wear 
at my desk, but if it starts getting hot, it's like I won't feel bad going, okay, it's a little hot, you know. So this one's the one I'm not sh too sure about. Um, so I still have the tag on it, but I basically went on there because I wanted to buy these earrings for the yellow dress. And I wanted to buy myself a new pair of pants, which is definitely an essential. And the pants at JCPenney are a lot cheaper than the pants at Torrid. Torrid also has good slacks, but they're like $50 a pair. They, these were, I think, $22.40 with my coupon. So JCPenney is a little more uh, cheaper, but I do like Torrid stuff better. So I'm kind of excited because my friend uh, is planning to come this weekend. Um, she's like, what are you doing on your birthday? I'm like, really nothing. I'm getting my hair done, so Saturday, welcome to getting old, right? I'm getting my hair done Saturday, and then we're gonna go to Torrid. I have some Torrid cash, some money that I saved aside, set aside for my for my birthday. So we're gonna go there and spend a couple you know, hours at Torrid and buy some things. She also wants to go to Ulta, which is good because I don't know much about makeup, and I need help with primer. Um, the primer that I use, um, they have discontinued it, and I'm like, eh. And also, I don't know what's going on with Amazon, but I used to be able to buy my Bare Minerals, um, foundation on Amazon for like 20 bucks and now all of a sudden it says $70 and I'm like how is one bottle $70 I don't know if it's because it's trying to make you do like a, a recurring thing I'm not sure what's going on with that but I'm not spending $70 I'm like if I have to go into Ulta and I know that there's an expensive side and there's a cheap side and I'll probably be over there on the cheap side the most I'll spend at Ulta is I will I love the glittery I'm not feeling great today but I was like if I'm doing a video I need to put some makeup on um, the most I'll spend, this is like uh, Revlon glitter. It's like it's like bronze and it's got the glitter over it. But um, I will spend, I think it's like 20 or $25 on the little Styla glitters because um, they are so good and they last so long. They last for a while. So sometimes I'll do that. They never seem to have sales on it. And they used to send me coupons. And I'd go in there and be like, oh, and they'd be like, oh, that's not, that's not part of the sale. It's like everything I always want they, is never part of the sale. So I kind of not, not crazy about Ulta because they're just too expensive. Like they're ridiculously expensive. But my friend did take me and said, you need to go over here. And so basically there's a section in Ulta that's basically like what you could get from a drugstore or a Walmart or a Target. And she's like, I'm like, oh, I get it. So she's like the cheap stuff, the stuff you don't wanna spend a lot of money on, go here. She goes, the stuff you're willing to spend the money on, go here. So I think I ended up buying like two things of the glitter eyeshadow. I had a 20% off coupon. They wouldn't let me use it towards the glittery stuff. So I think I had a couple cheap things from the, from the cheap section and they let me use it on that. And it was like two or $3 saved. It really wasn't worth it. And I'm like, dang it. It's so expensive to be beautiful. It's so expensive to be a woman. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my vlog. Um, I know I was all over the place. I hope I slowed down a little bit because I have been told that I am a fast talker. So I hope you guys have a great Sunday and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.